What's going on YouTube? Maple Ruski back here for another Ruski Records. And today we are going to be talking about the Jeep. My Jeep. Why? Because, well, it's a video idea I had. And I don't think I've really shown the Jeep off too, too much in uh, in the videos before. Um, so we're going to... We're gonna find a little parking lot with not too many people around. One, because I still get a little shy shooting stuff out in public. Um, slowly getting better. But also so you guys can take a better look than just see the steering wheel here and the big panoramic sunroof, which is pretty badass. Usually I have all the windows, most of the windows down, sunroof open on a beautiful summer day like this. But wind noise would be an issue I would assume so to right now we're just blasting some AC so yeah let's uh let's just find a little place to go and to, to shoot this video I think I have a good idea but we'll, we'll we'll find out in just a few also shaky cam for days because well uh iPhone things and well it's uh it's on it's on my phone mount and it's gonna be a little shaky. We're on for a little bumpy ride here, guys. my Jeep. It's my Jeep Grand Cherokee 2012 Laredo X. It's a, it's a pretty badass Jeep, to be honest, if I do say so myself. Got it in, got it in great. I'm trying to figure out still the camera, but it's looking, it's looking pretty snazzy. It's, uh, it, it's, it's done me well. I've had it for, what, since 2013 now, I want to say. Yeah, Easter of 2013. So it it's definitely it's definitely served me uh, fairly well so far. So let's take let's take a little bit of a look at it, shall we? So yeah, 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo X with a little extra extra snazzy stuff going on here. Not only the work that I've put into it, but also when I first bought it. I bought it used um, back in 2013. Um, and it looked a little different than this, was not blacked out. Didn't have these rims or tires either, came more or less, it was, it was, it was pretty much stock. It was, uh, it was actually a rental car company, it's funny enough. Um, and they were getting in the new 2013 model, so then I guess they just sold this back to the dealership. And, uh, and well, found it on Auto Trader with just over 18,000 kilometers on it, still in warranty. It was like nine months old, it was perfect, it was a perfect buy. Um, so yeah, me and my dad, my uncle went down there, haggled a little bit, picked it up, then got it dropped off at my place uh, about a week, week and a half later. But yeah, pretty good steal. So it is a Laredo X package, which is the second from the bottom, but we got some extra goodies. We got, um, what the hell, did, what, what was the extra thing that we got? Oh, we got the panoramic sunroof which is pretty cool. We got the panoramic sunroof and the best part is actually the sound system. It's a, it was, it's an upgraded sound system, nine speakers. And we got the subwoofer in here as well. Stock, that, that was definitely the biggest selling point. It was like, I want the upgraded sound system because music is a godsend. And when you're riding around in something like this, you want good music. You want to be bumping tunes. So this was uh, definitely, definitely, definitely the selling point next to next to the price and the miles and everything. It just it worked out beautifully. And then uh, when I first picked it up, I uh, 
I was thinking, oh, I got a Jeep. It's going to be off roadie and whatnot, and I'm excited. So uh, I was driving around, and I saw a big puddle in, 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 in a field and or in a little park area. And I went into the into the grass, and I saw a duck swimming in the big puddles from all the rain. So I stopped, and then it sank a little bit. And when I went to go hit the gas, I didn't have these beefy, beefy, badass tires on here. I had the stock Michelins and uh, it, it, it didn't go. It didn't go. So cops came because they thought I was doing property damage because somebody called them on me, which was not true. They just laughed their ass off. And then I had to call CAA. I also called my buddy Daniel, um, not to really help me out, but just to, just to have him enjoy the moment because I knew he'd laugh his ass off and I still have never lived that down. So this thing was only stuck once, once, never again, um, because you don't stop in a pile of mud. And uh, yeah, fun times there. But no, it's worked out great for me. The biggest thing that I did to this Jeep, are definitely the rims and tires here, I think, right? Yeah, got the rims, 18 inch by nine and a half, 24 offset, and then I slapped on when uh, the stock tires went, I got the uh, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax, same size as stock, 265-60 R18. And they've been, uh, they've been a godsend. The only other thing I think I've done to this Jeep is I put a leveling kit on the front to get it a little bit more level, see if we can get a nice shot. So I wanna say there is still a little bit of a rake in, uh, rake in the front, um, but it's definitely looking a lot better than it did stock and also with the tires Because uh, it, it's not a negative offset, but it's a positive 24, but still a little bit more aggressive So if we look they do stick out just a hair Which I actually really do like I didn't want them like out too too far. I just that that's that's actually perfect the other thing that I did to the Jeep was actually put in a sprint boost which I wired myself, and it's not the prettiest thing by far, but it, it works. Um, that's just to, to give a little bit less uh, thro bet time between when you hit the throttle and when the engine figures out that you hit the throttle. So that's worked out pretty well. I'm not gonna show you too much of the interior. It is still a bit of a mess, but first thing I got when I picked, or when, when it was dropped off, I got the, uh, the dice with uh, my friend Caitlin, who you've seen in a couple videos, or at least one. Other than that, it's uh, it's pretty good. You know, old school infotainment system. No navigation, because I got a phone for that. No point on having nav. You got your dual climate controls. No tow haul mode, which sucks. That's that, that and the V8. Those are the two things I should have got, but gas prices at the time were ridiculous. They still are. Um, but I really should have went with the V8 because this thing is still very terrible on gas. But other than that, you know, five seater, panoramic sunroof, subwoofer, extra entertainment or um, uh, sound system, stock from the factory, all good to go. No real complaints with this Jeep. There are a couple things wrong with it though. Um, my parking brake's kind of uh, kind of gone. I don't know what happened there. Um, so that's that's something that needs to be fixed post post COVID and also the other thing that I messed up was or well I didn't mess it up it was cracked a little bit and then uh, I was I was driving over the Burlington Skyway and the uh, this this portion here just uh, it, it flew it flew off so that's something that needs to be fixed as well one funny story though i was uh was a couple a couple summers ago uh one night out with the boys drinking and uh the next morning i get woken up by my dad hung over his shit it's like 40 degrees outside and he's like nikolai um your, your your back window exploded i'm like well what do you mean exploded he's like well it's not there anymore i'm like what do you mean it's not there anymore and yeah i shit you not i'm pretty sure what happened because no one broke into it 100 percent but cause it was such a, it was such a strong heat wave that the whole back pane like popped and exploded and was just all over the trunk, all on the ground of my driveway. 
So that was a, that was a fun day. So that's something I learned. Extreme heat can blow out windows, apparently. But yeah, now I'll just show you the engine a little, little real quick. Yeah, like I said earlier, the one thing that I do wish I did get was the V8, but we do have the 3.6 liter Pentastar in here. Still all stock. I've been wanting to do a cold air intake. Just don't have the, the money for it at the moment. Just, well, at least for that. And just like, it, it's not worth it right now. But the engine bay is so is so large because you can fit the 6.4 in here. And now putting in the 6.2 supercharged Hellcat engine in the Grand Cherokees. But I should have definitely went with the V8. Just because gas mileage on this right now isn't is it's not great. <laughs> it's a it's a thirsty it's a thirsty sucker for sure. But might as well just show you the engine real quick. It's nothing fancy. It's fairly dirty, and that's pretty much that. So yeah, that's uh that's the Jeep. I uh, hope you liked the video. Short, sweet, just some interesting to show you. And uh, yeah, now you know a little bit more about me pretty cool stuff um if you have any you know comments questions concerns let me know down in the comment box below as well um if you have a story about your car or want to tell me what you drive that'd be kind of cool too because uh i'm a big car guy and especially a uh, big jeep guy as well any recommendations for modifications that you want to see on this it'd be kind of cool whenever i get make a little bit more money make a little bit for the jeep budget i'll, I'll definitely put it back in but yeah video for today hope you guys enjoyed it like comment subscribe all that fun jazz and uh with that said i'll see you in the next one big things are coming soon stay tuned